Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. So today, Taurus, you guys got Rhino Spirit, overcome any obstacle, number 50. So number five is a challenge, and then they're saying like, there's an obstacle to overcome. And I honestly feel like the obstacle is this, right? Because Rhino, you see how the Rhino is going through the flowers? You can kind of look at it like that, like they're passing through the flowers. Um, I feel like the flowers are the obstacle and in this deck in the Lenormand deck the flowers can mean your social life so I'm wondering like if the obstacle for you is expectations or you know the like the friends that you have um or like family I I feel like this is more about family but it could also be like about flattery or like doing things um for others and not really for yourself that's kind of what i'm getting for this it's like you're doing things for others and not necessarily for yourself so aries's read was a lot about like them personally not seeing things the right way um and kind of like in hindsight they're like oh i, I definitely judge that person wrong here i feel like you see exactly who everyone is and that's why you're hesitating <laughs> so that's funny to me because it's like taurus you know exactly who you're dealing with and i feel like that is why you're hesitating because it's like, no, I know exactly what that person's going to say. No, I know exactly what that person's going to do. I know if I tell them, because this is, this is where you want to head, right? The stars. You want to head towards something that you want, but I feel like just the thought of telling these people what you want makes you feel like you shouldn't tell them, <laughs> right? It's like, I, sh I, sh I shouldn't tell these people because if I tell these people what I want, they're going to like laugh at me or they're going to judge me. And I heard this really interesting thing where it was like, People who have a lower level of consciousness are always people who are very judgmental. So if you know someone who's very judgmental in your life, like you tell them something and they're always judging you. I, I have a lot of people around me in my life that are like that and I know exactly who they are and I don't tell them things p purposely because I just don't want to hear what they have to say because people who judge are people who are very fearful. Like people who have a lot to say um, it's funny, they're not thinking about you, they're thinking about the fear that they feel and then they like project it onto you and that's kind of like how that judgment works. So it's interesting Taurus because the obstacle for you is kind of like heading to the stars but you're like, <laughs> like this is your obstacle. These people are kind of like getting past them or you know, it's like these people are gonna find out, right? Eventually, like everything comes to the light eventually. So you're like, you know what? If I make this move, they're gonna find out. There's no way they're not going to find out. Honestly, Taurus, I, again, it would be like, why do you care? But these seems to be friends or close relatives or like family. So obviously that affects us, right? It's not like random people. It's people that you know. So Taurus, I feel like that's the obstacle in this read. There's like something you want to do, but you know exactly who you're dealing with. And you're just like, I don't even want to talk to them about it because I know they're going to say, have a lot to say. Um... Taurus, if you can just do it without saying it to these people, I feel like that would be the best thing. Because I'm not trying to tell you like to keep everything a secret in your life and not to be proud of like who you are and like what type of life you want to live. No, I'm telling you like sometimes it's pointless to tell people things because they're at a lower level of consciousness and they're not going to understand it and they're just going to be judgmental and they're going to put their fear onto you, right? So when they judge a situation, that's them putting fear onto you. So let's just say you're headed towards, let's just put an example. <laughs> I'm going to put something super random. Let's just say you want to be like an auditioner for American Idol or some shit like that, right? And you want to audition and you, it's like either you tell people you're going to do it or you just go and do it. I'll be like, just go and do it. Because if you tell people about it, they're going to be like, oh my God, do you remember that really terrible guy that's saying she bangs, she bangs? Oh my God, like what if you're so bad and like you you they make a video on you and then oh my god like my friends are gonna know like do you know what i'm saying like why would anyone need to hear that before an audition and you see how like they're only thinking about themselves they're like oh my friend's gonna find out and then they're gonna make fun of me because of you it's like people they're only thinking about themselves these judgmental people so honestly taurus i would say the best thing to do is to not say anything because you want to head towards your dream or your star or whatever this is um, and there's a doubling of energy here, which I find interesting from the 9 to the 16. So that's telling me that if you do overcome the obstacle, which I feel like is to be proud of what you want and go for it, then it will be like a doubling effect. It, it's like a positive thing. Um, but again, for some of you, I just feel like there's no need to tell anybody. 
it's just going to put some doubt you're just you're just going to be filled with fear and it's going to make this a lot harder and i feel like that's what this challenge and conflict is so let's pull some cards to us Okay, Taurus, <laughs> um, you guys have a very interesting read. I feel like the reason that you don't want people to know, th there seems to have been like a falling out with somebody. And in my on my account on Gumroad, I had a reading very similar to this, where it's like you don't want to tell people like, you don't want to get everybody like riled up about something that you're not really sure is going to happen but at the same time like you do want to make an attempt so you're like in between telling somebody but you're gonna tell somebody that's what i'm getting like you are gonna talk to people about it like i don't know what it is about you having to get to this person but in in order to get to this person it's like information has to be exchanged so I don't know if it's like you still live at home and you're going to obviously like take a flight somewhere or you're going to like take a drive somewhere. Um, and I don't feel like this person lives close by because it's like if this person lived five minutes away, you could literally just go walking and no one would have to know. That's, that's what's making me think there's distance between you and this person because it's like you have to kind of like tell the people that you live with that you're leaving. Um, I have mature men and mature women here and I feel like this is like this is the flowers <laughs> this is the obstacle um it could be your parents right mature man mature woman i feel like it's honestly like parents so i don't know whose read this is but i feel like the obstacle is telling your parents or telling like whoever it is that you live with that you yeah that you want to make a change um and that you're ready for a new start and that you want to go I don't know why I took bad health. I feel like bad health... I feel like in the read that I did on Gumroad, bad health was there, but I don't feel like there's bad health here. I feel like the bad health... Like, that. this is what gives you the anxiety. Like, having to tell these people that you're going to be moving in a new direction or that you need this change. Um, and it's not as simple as, like... You know, and, and family room is where you have, like, formal conversations, right? So that, And then you have the mature man and mature woman. So that's what I'm getting. It's like, some of you might live at home and you have to tell somebody, like... I'm going this place <laughs> like that is where I'm going and I need to move and that's what I'm getting here like someone here is like I want to go but I have I honestly thought that this was you Taurus the earth sign obviously but when I pulled cards for the king of cups we have the king of cups and the queen of coin so we have a water sign and an earth sign. It's be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, it doesn't... Again, the signs don't really matter. But you guys are both coming up as the king and queen of cup. Right? So you're coming up as a true pair. But the cards that are clarifying this person is what's letting me know that this, this is the person who has the problem of telling everybody like, oh, this is my plans. This is what I want to go do. This is the change that I want to make in my life. Um, I don't know who this is, but they seem to be, it's kind of like, even if you have roommates, right? It's like telling your roommates a plan that you have and then kind of being like, well, why would you want to go do that? Or like, that doesn't seem like a good idea or, you know what I mean? It's like, there's somebody here though. I honestly feel like this is a mom and a dad. And in the family room, family room, this is like you having a conversation about like what's going on. Like the family room is like very legit, right? Like the family room is like where everything is held. And then the... The, like you want this change in your life like you want to go towards your star you feel like it's this person you're coming up as a true pair so i don't think you're wrong but i just feel like telling these people about it is going to be the obstacle here that's the obstacle um you guys are coming up with the ton of cups so i feel like you're very sure that this is your ten of cups 
But again, I feel like you're the type of person, I, I was saying like, don't say anything and just go, but you are gonna say something. So that is the obstacle, which I mean, I give you a lot of credit for, but I do feel like it's going to be an obstacle because remember what I said, people are gonna project judgment and fear on a plan, especially when they don't understand. And who can really understand all relationship? Nobody. <laughs> like, that's why I don't like to give advice. Like if my friend asked me a question, I'm like, bro, I don't know. Because unless it's something like very obvious, you know then who who knows like you're not there every single day we're not there we don't know like the dynamics that go on behind you know doors and relationships are just very tough so i feel like sometimes it's better just not to give an opinion you know sometimes it's better to be like you know i support you whatever you want to do type vibe because when it comes to love who can really understand love between people even i don't understand like the reason why i love some people do you know what I'm saying? like it just is what it is it, it just happens and like that is what it is and i feel like that's what happened here you're like you want to go talk to somebody and you're gonna go do that you feel like this is the new beginning you're coming with, up with the hangman in reverse like i'm t you're like you're done waiting around this is like what you want to do but for some reason there's like a guard like like you have to ask these people you have to tell these people about it and that's what's giving you the anxiety to speak about what you feel and to speak about what you know and for some reason it's not so easy to just be like yeah i'm going by um this is more of like well where, where are you going and like why so this type of family i don't know how young you are where again but anytime you live with your parents it doesn't matter how old you are like your parents are going to ask you a lot of questions right <laughs> you could be like 50 like where are you going um yeah <laughs> it just that's the type of dynamic with parents so i feel like you're definitely traveling to see somebody i feel like with a star here you've taken a good look at yourself um and i feel like the divine is telling you that the only reason that you feel like this couldn't happen with faith in reverse is because you're in balance so anytime you're in balance or you're like holding on to fear this is going to make you feel like this is impossible and that's why i keep telling you that it's hard to like talk to people about plans because people put project their judgment and fear on top of you um and it's not necessarily because they know anything about the situation they're just that's what people do right so the person you're dealing with i i like this feminine energy this queen of cup this queen of earth because i feel like they're not confused about like there's no there's nothing that they're hiding there's no, there's no secrets that they're keeping there's something about this person that's just very genuine with the queen of cup um upright and you're like you're both coming up as a true pair i don't feel like you guys being in reverse or upright means anything to be honest um but yeah with the four of swords <laughs> um yeah I, I feel like this person is just doing their own thing like they're not they're not really resting but you guys are kind of coming up with similar energy you have the hangman in reverse and this person has the four of swords in reverse so it's like there's movement going on in both your lives but yeah this person i don't think they were ever confused about this relationship like you were like that's what i'm getting with the moon in reverse i don't feel like they were confused about this relationship where maybe at one point you were and you had to go into hangman mode but now you're getting out of hangman mode and you're very sure of what you want with the star but it's just the star and the ten of cups like you're sure you took a look with like this four of cups this is about introspection like you took a look and you're like okay like i know what i want you know what i mean i know what i want um and <laughs> um yeah i feel like you haven't been feeling stable you haven't been feeling sturdy maybe you let this relationship go and it's been kind of a, re a regret in your life and you know that this person brings you a lot of happiness so that's who, where you want to go um again the divine's telling you that fear is the only thing that's going to put bring you in balance in this light like with temperance in reverse and faith in reverse so be careful like fear and that's what this is all about right like you're going to talk to somebody about what you're going to go do you're telling people your plans obviously that's something that you feel like you have to do here i don't think that you're going to bypass it because here i feel like this is the obstacle and then you're overcoming the obstacle with the king of wands in reverse and the four of wands in reverse and the ace of swords it's like the truth is that it doesn't matter like I feel like the truth is like you still want to be with this person like this might have ended but you still want to be with them um and it's something that you have to like discuss with people like that's what i'm getting with this is like you you have a lot of love for this person that's what i'm getting i feel like you want and you be, you have two aces here you want a new beginning with them and yeah you're ending here with the king of swords so that's you like seeing things very clearly and the three of pentacles so yeah again like you want to collaborate with this person you want to work with this person um but you feel trapped in some sort of way for some uh, like making this offer for makes you feel trapped in some sort of way and i think again it has a lot to do with like the judgment of others 
and like how you feel about like people judging you about what you want i think taurus if it's what you want then you should go for it again i i I really don't think like telling anybody is a good thing when you want to go do something you just go do it you don't really ask for people's opinions but you are gonna ask I'm, I'm getting that strongly like you literally are gonna go talk to your parents or somebody here about what you're gonna go do so let's see what their reaction is about the change that you want to make so with the eight of coins and judgment i feel like this is you expressing how you want to put work into it how whatever happened in the past i feel like you're letting it go and maybe you even have regrets about like not moving forward in the past but again, I feel like you're very clear with the hangman in reverse and the, the ace of wands. Like, this is what you want. This is what you want to start. This is what you want to begin with. Like, you want to have a beginning with this person. You want to start new with this person. This is your idea. This is your wish. This is your dream. This is, like, what you want. And you're willing to put in the work. And you're just expressing that to these people. I mean, whoever this is. It could be friends. It could be family. It could be parents. But yeah, you've let go whatever it was in the past that you were holding on to with this person and this is like the type of move that you want to make um i see good things here again <laughs> i think it's hard to like talk to people i mean you're just gonna tell them the truth i i'm not getting a reaction from them so i'm, I'm letting you know right now <laughs> i don't know what their reaction is going to be i just feel like you're going to explain to them i let me try one more time what is their reaction going to be i feel like they're telling you like you're going backwards with the with the wheel of fortune reverse they're like they're not they're not worried for you necessarily but they feel like you might be just going in the wrong direction you know like you're they might feel that's that's what they're gonna say like they feel like you're not going maybe in the right direction or you're going backwards like you know when you break they're gonna put that story i feel like it's like you know when you break up with someone and you end relationships with people things you know what would a parent say about a relationship that you broke up like they're gonna be they're gonna give you the most wise judgment that they can think of and i feel like again it, it depends on your parents let me be honest like some people some like i don't know who these people are so or these friends are but obviously this is what's causing you concern like this is obviously like what you're worried about so i don't think they're like willy-nilly parents they're just like yeah go have a great time like no i feel like they're gonna say like you can do whatever you want but you're making a mistake so that could honestly be a little bit of a block for you in the beginning maybe you've discussed this before and it didn't end up like they told you how they felt and you you went with what they thought but you're still thinking about this person that's what i'm getting here it's like it's kind of sad because it's like maybe you were very clear at one point what you wanted but then like you talked to them about it and now you're like i don't maybe they're right but you're obviously going to see clearly eventually yeah that's what i'm saying you're going to feel trapped for a little bit you're going to feel like, okay, maybe I shouldn't do this, but then you're going to see clearly, and I feel like you're going to go collaborate with this person. And the last card that we have here is the Three of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles is all about working with another person, so I feel like you're going to go, even though you're afraid of what people will say, um, and even if people say like that this is a dumb idea, you're going to go do it. <laughs> I like that, Taurus. Do what you want to do. I'll see if there's any advice for you, Taurus. This is so cute. They're telling you to overcome the obstacles, so they're saying, like, you can. And I honestly think that it's very, like, I think I like you more for the fact that you're just going to go for it. You know what I mean? And you're just like, you know, it's what I want. I'm clear about it. With the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, I think it's a good idea. With the Ten of Cups, yeah, like, I think, I think you should do it. And the Sun, yeah, I think you should do it. And the Star, yeah, go do it, Taurus. It's good energy. You're coming up King, Queen of Cups. I feel like you should go do it. Oh my god, so you guys got Queen Esther in the morning star. Yes, remember we're talking about stars? And then you got the star? Yeah, like, I, I think, like, you know what your heart wants. And you know, like, this is going to make you happy. And there's a lot about stars here. Like, this person is your star. This is the person you want. And you're just not going to hide it anymore. And I feel like that's a very beautiful energy. My ego is in service of my soul. I trust my soul's divine timing. What's interesting is like, I don't think you fear what this person's going to say. I don't think you fear about being around this person. I think you're very sure on them with the star three times. I think you're sure of them. What you're not sure is, if, again, how they're going to react. And I would say, again, like, I don't think, let's just say worst case scenario. Let's play the worst case scenario. They're not going to react well with the wheel in reverse. And then you're like, you're going backwards, right? Let's just say they say that. Where does that change for you? 
You know what I mean? What does that change? Because then you get white buffalo woman, calf woman, the prophetess of the sacred way. My heart is a compass. My the, the path of love is true abundance. There you go. Like the path of love is true abundance. Going in the way that your heart is telling you to go is what's going to lead you to abundance in this life. Your heart is your compass. Your heart is already telling you that this is the right direction for you to go in. Right? Like this is the right person for me. And you already know I feel like you're going to get disapproval from whoever it is you speak to. So... How does that change things for you? <laughs> um, this is like that time of day where it's like, do you really give a fuck about what people say about you? And like, why? Why? And like, you should look into why you care. Right? Like, why? Is, is, this, per is this person that there is this person going to be the person that, you know, um, like your like parents or friends are going to have to be with every single morning when you wake up? Is this the person that is this person going to have to start a family with people? Is this the person, you know what I mean? Whatever you want in your life traveling with this person like who's gonna be the one doing all those things in your life you or them if it's you then you already know that you should be listening to your heart your heart is the compass <laughs> this person is your star and you feel it and you're sure about it and it's not gonna change them saying that this is a bad idea isn't gonna change anything about how you feel so what's the point of like not going and doing it <laughs> if you're you're always going to feel this way about this person that's like <laughs> what's the point of stopping yourself that's what i'm trying to say like see the truth is that your heart is leading you in the right direction and when it comes to your heart it's the it's the true compass so again the obstacle here the only obstacle i see is if you let these people's judgment of like maybe you're afraid of the way they'll judge you and again, I'd be like, why, why do you care? You're, you're the one that has to be around this person, not them. Taurus, you got this. You got this, you got this, you got this. I love you. You got this. Go do, go get this person. Like, It's so evident you love this person. Just go. They're your ten of cups. They're your star. They're your queen of cups. They're your son. Go. I, you're gonna, they're going to say this is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm telling you now. If they don't, then God bless. But if they do, who cares? Go for it. I love you, Taurus. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.